Hello everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to a general channel update. Well, it's been a really, really long time since I updated a channel, and there's several reasons for that. Um, first, real life got in the way, it just took a very busy turn for the summertime. And also, I ran into a little bit of a snag on this map. And by little, I mean a lot. <laughs> As some of you who actively communicate with me either via Discord or other means, you know that I've been trying to get this map released. In fact, I had a goal of releasing it for April Fools of this year. Yeah, April Fools joke from me would have been me releasing this map in its entirety. But several things happened. Mainly in April and again in July and August, multiple mods suddenly were removed from Steam. Mods that were actually critical to this map. Now the map, obviously it, you can see, it survived that removal, but it took a lot of work and I really didn't have the time to really devote to getting it fixed in a quick manner. And the time that I did had, I was really, really exhausted to really put focus in this. And what little time I did have, I really devoted to games that really didn't require work, like Mass Effect and uh, other games. So I just put Transport Fever and Elite Dangerous and a few others that I was working on on pause for the time being. Well, for Elite, there was other reasons as well, and I'll get into that at some point when I do my Elite video. But you guys are here for Transport Fever, and I wanted to point a few things out to you. Well, for one, you can see that right now we're looking at Jamaica Station, as it is actually right now. There are actually 10 lines going in and out of this station, so it's actually a hub of activity in the game. And over here, as I try to position the camera correctly, is Newark Penn Station, another hub of activity in the game. And I, I really like how this station came out. I put a lot of effort in trying to make it look as authentic as possible. So I really did enjoy working on this area. But another reason why I was having issues with the game and producing content for the game is there's this intermittent lag that occurs and is more so shown in the recordings when I am playing back what I recorded. So it's it's been hard to pin down. The map updates in July and all the tweaks and fixes that they've been releasing, it helped mitigate it a little bit, but I'm sure you guys can notice that there's some hesitation even at four times speed there is some hiccups here and there. And you're gonna see this in a couple of the videos that I will be releasing that I can't seem to eliminate them. Now, part of that is magnified by my capture program because of some setting that I can't seem to pin down. I've been adjusting the, the settings for the capture, the motion capture, and it's, it's, Sometimes it gets worse, sometimes it gets better, but I can't seem to eliminate it. But a lot of it has to do with the lag in the game. Even though I've eliminated most of the other lines at this point. Well, by eliminate, I mean, if I'm recording something like say the Northeast Corridors, then I delete all the other lines like the MTA lines, the line railroad lines, or any lines that won't add to the visual effect of traveling the Northeast Corridor, just so that the game doesn't have to process that information. So it definitely does help with the lag a lot, but it does not 
eliminate it as you can see. And I've also added some new content into the game. You may see some updated Amtrak and other Northeast Corridor assets in the game. But something we still haven't seen yet is an R160 subway car. Link in the description. We've been requesting this for well over a year now. So if there's a modder out there that wants to make New York City content, it would be greatly appreciated. Just putting it out there. We would love you a lot. A lot, a lot. Those of us who are working on New York City Inspire projects. And last but not least, another area of activity, minor one though, is Hoboken Terminal. Right now I have five or six lines coming out of this terminal and I actually do like how it came out so far. I really do, I, I really do, I'm not gonna lie. But let me know what your thoughts are below on your, the content that you have seen. So one last bit of information at the time of release of this video, I will be launching another video that will be the sixth line, the sixth line on the MTA line. You can find it, well, now on my channel. In addition to that, I'm working on a couple other videos, a couple other lines, and I'm taking suggestions for what lines you want to see that I haven't covered yet, or you want to see an update to. Well, that's all for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw here, please give it a like. It really does help my channel. And while you're at it, why don't you hit that subscribe button as well. Also, one more thing that I would like to know from you guys. I would like to know and get some more feedback as to what you guys are looking for in this channel moving forward. I'm coming to the end of what I've been working on in Transport Fever. It's just more minor tweaks and fixing of removal of mods. Yet another one was removed just before the recording of this video. So what would you like moving forward once this series is finished? Let me know in the comment sections below. Until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next video.